In 2024, the competition on YouTube is fierce. And if you're starting from scratch, it's not as easy to get ahead as it used to be. Yet you can still speed up this process and get views and subscribers through Google Ads. And I will show you how to set it up so that you don't waste any money and still get amazing results and outreach. So let's begin. If you have a new channel or a small business and plan on promoting its services on YouTube, you can spend a lot of time analyzing statistics and competitors, researching trends, experimenting with different strategies, and still get nowhere. So if you want more reliable and consistent results, and if you're willing to invest some money in your promotion, YouTube ads is the perfect tool for getting your first views and subs. So let's break it all down step by step, all the way from launching a campaign to making real money. The very first thing you need to do is prepare your videos and your channel for promotion, because no financial investment will make sense if the viewer, after seeing an ad on your channel, gets forwarded to an empty page. To get started, be sure to check the visual design of your channel's page. This includes a nice channel banner, nicely looking thumbnails, and a simple yet memorable logo. On the channel banner, be sure to put some information about your channel and add a call to action. This could be a call to go to your website or social media, a call to subscribe, or to participate in some kind of activity. The channel banner is the very first and most noticeable element that users see on your page, so make sure it works. Thumbnails and a logo are also very important, so make sure all text is legible, that every Everything looks well together with no visual noise. Now let's make sure your videos are okay for promotion. Before launching ads, I recommend uploading at least three to four videos. Then the new viewer will have an option to watch your other videos, thus subjecting himself to your charm even more. These videos of yours, of course, should be interconnected thematically so that watching them all feels like a singular experience. Oh, and the video should not be too short. An average duration of eight to 10 minutes would be perfect for promotion an already somewhat established channel with several dozen videos, make sure to tidy things up before launching ads. You can temporarily hide some of the not so successful videos, but don't delete them. You can also optimize the titles a bit better to make them more interesting. And at the same time, bring all thumbnails to single style. Now that you have prepared the channel for ads, you can start launching the set ads for which we need the Google ads tool. On its main page, we will create a new campaign. You don't have to specify its goal, by the way. Next, choose video and the company subtitle. I recommend choosing video views because it is the most universal and effective option that will suit the absolute majority of channels. In addition, the results of such ads are easy to analyze. The rest of the options are either highly specialized or slightly more complex. You can of course try them too, but if this is your first ad campaign, then choose video views. Okay, now when we enter the name of the company and specify the budget, choose daily and start with the minimum figures. For someone, it will be $1, five or 10. It all depends on your financial capabilities. Start with small amounts. At the same time, I advise you to remove the checkboxes from video partners on the Google Display Network just to not waste a single penny since we're only interested in ads on YouTube. Next, choose the region and language for your ads. The rest of the parameters here can be ignored in my opinion. That is all sorts of new features from Google like multi-format ads, improved automation and all that sort of thing. While you're just learning Google Ads, and especially if you have a limited budget, I advise you not to complicate anything and get by with basic tools. In the future, you can always adjust something in the settings, but for now, the simpler, the better. And by the way, be sure to open the devices tab and uncheck the TVs. The TV audience extremely rarely reacts to ads because it is simply physically inconvenient to click on something from a TV. Therefore, you should not waste your ad budget and views from TV users. You can also set limits on the cap impression frequency and and cap view frequency, let's set them to two or three impressions per user and no more than one view per user. This way we don't become too annoying and make sure that more people see the ads. Now select all days in the ad schedule. After that, move on to the audience section. Here you can form a detailed group or groups of viewers that you are targeting, gender, age, children. You need to draw a portrait of your potential viewer, the one who might be interested in your channel, your brand and your services. You need people who are interested interested in starting a business, finance and marketing, or have recently moved to a new country and so on. Google has information about these people and can show them your ads. The next section is keywords. Here you can enter the words and phrases that best reflect the theme of your video and channel.
channel, think about what words your video would be searched for and type in these words. If you have a cleaning company, for example, type in something like office cleaning, cleaning in your city, cleaning after renovation, sofa dry cleaning. I think you got the idea. And finally, we choose a video from your channel that we want to advertise. This can be an older video or the one that you just shot specifically for ads. Add a link to it and YouTube will start promoting it. Next, choose where the ad will be placed and I recommend choosing in stream. This way the ad will get shown before the video and you will only pay if the person has watched at least 30 seconds of the ad. And if they skip it, you don't pay anything. Retention will grow in such ads and as a result, you will not only increase views on a specific video, but also increase viewing time. This is the best option for promoting new videos on a new channel and gaining subscribers and views. Next, pick a title and description, add information about the channel, about your brand and product. When that's done, comes the question of price. Once again, you need to decide how much you want to pay per view. And I recommend starting small with one cent. You can always increase the price later if you want. Then you just launch the ad campaign and wait. And while you wait, I have a small announcement for you. To make money on YouTube in 2024, you need to invest in the quality of your content. There is no better way to do it than upgrading the quality of your editing. Movavi Unlimited will help you with this. Movavi Unlimited is an all-in-one solution that's got everything you need. If you've been struggling with large, unwieldy footage shot on your phone, Movavi has you covered. With its easy-to-use tools, you can effortlessly convert your footage into a more manageable format and even enhance its quality by up to eight times. Movavi Unlimited also includes a powerful photo editor that lets you get creative with video thumbnails, you can crop, resize, apply filters, and add text stickers and frames to your images, creating stunning visuals that will captivate your audience. So if you are tired of the struggles that come with video editing and you're looking for effortless and impressive results, I highly recommend giving Movavi Unlimited a try. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up. An 80% discount on all the apps in the amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off. So don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't want to miss. So at this point, we have prepared the channel and launched the ad campaign. Now we face the third and most important step, optimizing the ad, its keywords, audience, and other parameters. After you receive the very first reactions and conversions, you must analyze them and use them to further customize ads and develop a new strategy. Which people have clicked on your ad? Where did these viewers come from? How long did they watch the ad? All this information is available in the analytics, and I'm sure you can draw your own conclusions fairly easily. The entire optimization process is built on a simple principle. Put an emphasis on what brings conversions and get rid of everything that doesn't work. Take note of the good audiences, regions, uh, gender, age, and interests of viewers who respond well to your ads. Create separate campaigns for these parameters and create separate ads for them. And if any of those ads perform poorly, just delete them and start again. Trial and error, that's what it's all about. In fact, ad optimization is practically an endless process since there is no limit to perfection. Just be patient and remember that it's impossible to launch ads that will instantly bring you millions of views on the first try. With time and proper optimization, you will surely get great results, views will grow, and so will your audience. And finally, I just want to say that even if you use Google Ads to promote your channel, never stop improving the quality of your videos. Study your audience and what interests people. Work on improving your content so that new viewers want to stay with you and recommend your channel to someone else. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.